other cognitive behavioral theorists, you being the developer of cognitive behavioral theory, are supplanting some of the earliest mainstay and mainstay theorists of personality theory, of which we have Freud, Jung, Adler, Horney, Sullivan, people who have been presented in almost every major personality text. Of those who are still major figures, which one do you find, and we've already spoken about Horney, do you find yourself being most in synchrony with and, and most in antipathy with? Mainly Adler and Horney, and Horney was sort of an Adlerian too. To some degree, Sullivan, but the ones that I'm antipathetic toward are mainly Freud and Jung. And then why is that? Well, Freud overemphasized the environment and early childhood training and had all kinds of complicated reasons for it, most of which he made up. And uh, Jung, in addition to everything else, was quite mystical and unscientific at times. Given the, the very cogent response you've given and verified by the huge body of research failing to support Freud's theories, his observations perhaps, but not his theories, why do you think that to this day, uh, more than half a century after his death, is he still accepted as such an important figure and taught so frequently? Well, first he was a brilliant writer, a very good writer, so that counts. But secondly, therapists themselves are severely disturbed, most of the most of the, much of the time, and therefore they go for crap. Okay, so in fact, they go for things that are appealing, perhaps keep their practice active, but are not necessarily true. 